Magnet Manufacturing Process There are several processes for making magnets, but, the most common method is called powder metallurgy. In this process, a suitable composition is pulverized, into fine powder, compacted and, heated to cause densification via liquid phase sintering. Therefore, these magnets are most often called sintered magnets. Ferrite, samarium cobalt, SM Co, and, neodymium iron boron, NEO, magnets are all made by this method. How SMCO and, NEO magnets, are made. Suitable raw materials are melted under vacuum, or inert gas, in an induction melting furnace. These cured metal chunks, are crushed and pulverized to form a, fine powder ranging from, 3 to 7 microns, in diameter. This very fine powder is chemically reactive, capably of igniting spontaneously, in air and, therefore must be protected from exposure to oxygen. The first method is called axial, or transverse pressing. This is where powder is placed into a cavity, in a tool on the press and, punches enter the tool to compress the powder. The compaction freezes in this alignment. In axial, parallel, pressing, the aligning field is parallel to the direction of compaction. In transverse, perpendicular, pressing, the field is perpendicular to the compaction pressure. A second compaction method is called isostatic pressing wherein a flexible container is filled with powder, the container is sealed, an aligning field is applied, and the container is placed into the isostatic press. SMCO has the additional requirement of A, solutionizing treatment after sintering. After reaching room temperature, both materials are given A, lower temperature tempering heat treatment. Finishing Slicing can be performed, with excellent precision often eliminating, the need for subsequent grinding. All of these processes must be conducted very carefully, to minimize chipping and, cracking. In some cases, the final magnet shape is conducive to processing with A, shaped diamond, grinding will such as, arcs and, bread loafs. Machine magnets will have sharp edges, which are prone to chipping. Coating around a sharp edge is also problematic. The specified rounding of the edge depends upon subsequent processing and, handling requirements but, is most often, 0.005 to 0.015, 0.127 to 0.38 mm, radius. Neo magnets, which, are prone to rusting, or reacting chemically, are almost always coated. Magnetizing After the manufacturing is completed, the magnet requires charging, to produce an external magnetic field. This can be accomplished, in a solenoid, a hollow cylinder into which various magnet sizes and, shapes can be placed dash, or with fixtures designed to impart unique magnetic patterns. It is also possible to, magnetize large assemblies to avoid handling and, assembling these powerful magnets, in their magnetized condition. The magnetizing field requirements are, substantial. This, as many other aspects of magnet selection, should be discussed with our engineering and production team. Magnetic stabilization and calibration. In some instances, magnets will require stabilization or calibration. Stabilization is a process of pre-treating the magnets in or out of an assembly so that subsequent use will not result in additional loss of flux output. Calibration is performed to narrow the performance output range of a group of magnets. These processes require treating in an oven at elevated temperature or reverse pulsing in a magnetizer at fields below full knockdown power. There are several factors that affect thermal stabilization and it is important that this process is controlled very carefully to ensure proper final product performance.